New at 5, Milwaukee County District Attorney John Chisholm says a young assistant DA made a mistake, leading to the low bond for the man charged with killing the six people in the Waukesha Parade tragedy. And a mistake was made. You got to keep that in mind, but you can't excuse it as well. Because, like I said, it was just one link in a series of chains that uh, ultimately led to a tragedy. The horrific attack happened just five days after Daryl Brooks walked out of the Milwaukee County Jail after posting bail for a different felony. Our Katie Crowther joins us live to detail the tough questions, Chisholm's response, and the internal review. A lot to unpack here, Katie. Yeah, Carol, Milwaukee County DA John Chisholm actually just got done speaking with media members, but it was earlier today that he shared his findings of his office's internal review with county supervisors during a virtual meeting. The focus is really on how and why the bail that was set for Daryl Brooks was, as Chisholm called it, inappropriately low. Less than three weeks before Daryl Brooks was arrested for driving his SUV through the parade in Waukesha, he was taken to jail for running over the mother of his child with the same SUV. In that felony domestic violence case, Brooks was able to walk free after posting a $1,000 bail. Milwaukee County District Attorney John Chisholm confirming to the county's Judiciary Safety and General Services Committee that it was an assistant DA with about two years experience on the job who set that bail amount. You had a young ADA trying to do the very best she could under really difficult circumstances and she made a mistake. But TMJ4's I-Team revealed last week that setting low bails for domestic violence offenders is not uncommon under Chisholm's leadership. The I-Team found 45 felony cases assigned to one assistant DA where bail was set at less than $1,000. I'm not here to make excuses. Um, I, I own every decision that's made by any member of my office. While Chisholm says he's not totally against cash bails, he believes creating a system that focuses more on suspect risk assessment would be better. Cash bail disproportionately impacts on people who can't pay the cash bail, and that's not fair. In the virtual meeting, Chisholm brought up problems with the court system, including a backlog in trials, shortages of attorneys and judges, and lack of funding. When you're dealing with high volume triage, trying to sort what the most serious offense is and just get the case in the system and, and move on to the next one, Sometimes errors are going to occur. County Supervisor Patty Logsdon, who has a personal connection to the Waukesha Parade tragedy, expressed her outrage over the holes in the system, saying the bail that was set for Brooks is inexcusable. It seems to be a revolving door and they're, they're getting out too easy. We need to be aggressive. This has to now, bail amount is ultimately set by the presiding judge, and that judge really can um, make the bail higher or lower than what the district attorney recommends. Now, DA Chisholm and the county supervisors who met today, they all could agree that this is really just the first conversation towards trying to create a better system, better workflow, more resources to make sure this kind of mistake never happens again. Reporting from the Milwaukee County Courthouse, Katie Crowther, TMJ4 News.